Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I changed my name from, my name was Myron underscore Jewel. I changed my name to Cheating Ass Myron, and it, it's catchy. You can't forget that. No, no, you, can't, no, no. you can't forget it. It's too catchy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But it's just that when I'm about your age, like 60, 17 years old, they ain't going to respect it. Well, at the end of the day, <laughs> you, you know, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you got to no, make him respect it, though. Yeah, yeah. You cheat no, ass, no, Myron. No. Nigga. Your, your brand is dope, man. Uh, uh, how, how, how you and T.I. get hooked up? I was about to ask yeah. that. You took my question. There you go. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, let's talk about the fact that the, the T.I. situation, when, when I seen you, this was after your page got taken. What, what, uh, no, when I was, my page, I still had my page when I was uh, doing the pilot. What, what, uh, when I was, when you see me on set with Tip and all yes. that? No, I still had my page. My page got took while I was on set and I got it back. That's what I'm, I seen it, it leave. Back. Yeah, I, I got it. it back and then it got took again. Okay, so what was what was that all about? Can you talk about the T.I. and you and the on set Oh, stuff? yeah, yeah, so Tip. Tip, uh, I posted a video on social media, on Instagram, where I was, uh, what was I doing? Oh, the girl was twerking on my FaceTime. And, you know, FaceTime is Siri. But I was like, you know, the, my girl came and caught me down there. And I see me, got the girl twerking on the thing. And uh, she said, she started snapping. And I'm like, I was like, man, shut your dumb ass up. This Alexa. You know, I'm saying Alexa. Alexa, make it clap. <laughs> Alexa, you know, that ain't on the phone, though. Just dumb shit like that. So... You gotta watch it, but anyways, I was doing running with that stuff, and we snapped and stuff. But Ti was in the comments, but my homie uh, Marco hit me, a funny Marco hit me. Yeah. He's like, he said, "You see Ti in your comments?" And I'm like, "What?" I went and scrolled and found it. Like, oh, tip, tip, watching me. Like, I didn't know, right? <laughs> so I'm like, boom. But he never said nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just that. And then uh, I say, like a couple months later, he DM me and was like, he had a project for me. This ain't this was this wasn't for uh what we just filmed. Mm -hmm. This was for uh. I forgot what it was, but I was, he he told me, what's my number? I gave my number, he hit me up, and it was for, I think, oh, his son, Damani, Damani, one of them. Yeah, yeah. He was on a music video. He said, I want you to be a part of a woo. And then I was like, all right, just let me know. I was out of time at the time. But then he said, hit me when I get in time. I never heard nothing about it, so I left it there. Then the second time, he called me, and I was out of town again. But I was doing some shows, and he said, he said where you at, King? You know, I got something for you. I was like... It's like, man, I'm out of town on the road. He's like, all right, just hit me when you get in. So now I'm like, man, I done missed a man twice, man. But he paying attention, nigga. He out working. He see I'm out working and not just saying, you know. So I'm like, damn, I done missed his man twice. So then I was in uh, Charlotte doing somebody's music video. And I was on on set and uh, Tip FaceTime me. And I was like, hold on. Like, you know, I went to answer. I didn't know what he wanted. He's like, I got a project, man. Me, you, DC, Lil Duvall, uh, you know, naming everybody. Be Simone, all this woo-woo. And I'm like, all right, bet. So... Two weeks later, he was like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, come audition. So the crazy thing is today, he was like, you know, they see on videos, but they still need to see, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, come, I want you to come audition for this part. He said, I know you're going to kill it, though, because this, this, it fits you perfect, your energy and everything. I, you funny as hell, naturally. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the interview. I mean, I went to the uh, audition. The crazy part is they sent me the script the night before the, uh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't, I'm like, I looked at that shit and I read it and seen the story, but I'm like, and I ain't prepared for this shit. So when I got there, I'm just like, I ain't even act like I know this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I went in, they like, he tipped like, you ready and stuff. They had the producers and all them back there watching. This is my first audition. I ain't never auditioned for shit. So I go in there, I'm reading this shit. I'm like, uh, yeah, the, uh, put the water down. Like, whatever. I don't know what it was saying, but it was, I'm reading it like that. And Tip looking at me, I said, I said, look, man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know this shit, man. Like, no, hey, she gave me the script last night, told me I ain't need to know it, man. What's up? And then they laughed at that. You know what I'm saying? I was dead ass serious. Though. I was serious. I said, but I can't read. I said, hey, man, I feel like I'm reading. I don't know this shit. <laughs> she gave me the script last night and told me I ain't need to know. He said, who said it? I said, her right there, because it was a glass thing. Her. <laughs> And they was laughing. He was like, man, he said, bro, he said, I, he said, I know you're going to kill it. He said, just take it home and you read it and we're going to do table reads and, and we're going to figure, you know, because everybody do table reads. And we, yeah. we got the table reads. I, come, I got there. I seen everybody that I know there. I know everybody already when I get there. And we do table reads and stuff. Then we started filming. Everything was good. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.